Hey everyone, I thought I would jump on Instagram and do some stories um, real quick. Um, this week has been um, full on, full blown um, tree pollen allergies and I've been at the eye doctor um, this week twice, um, but it finally got it under control. It was just, uh, uh, couldn't stop itching. <laughs> It gets really bad right around this time of year with the yellow dust that comes off the pine trees. And I, I know it's coming. I can see the dust start on my car. And I'm like, it's going to happen any day. So I start taking all my allergy meds. Anyway, um, uh, pretty much spent a lot of time in the house because of that. Although um, it's been quite beautiful. Um, I think I've got my allergies under control now so I can get outside and um, enjoy the, the uh, warm weather. Um, so... I did a I did a video about um, a bag that I got a couple weeks ago, which was the um, uh, Twilight Paisley Casual Satchel. It's the factory version. I don't know what year it came out. I don't know. I think it's just um, a few years old. Uh, but um, I really like the bag. Really, really like the way that it felt. I like the way that the um, sort of pleather handles looked. So I decided to, um, I, I started hunting around for another one, um, looking at the different um, patterns that came out um, during that time frame. And this was a pattern that I thought looked really pretty and um, decided that I would just hunt around a little bit. So I found this for $20. Um, I don't remember where, maybe Mercari. Um, and, um, or at least I offered 20 and, and, uh, so it was new with tags and, uh, the strap, the, uh, crossbody strap had never been, um, undone. You know, it was, it was, uh, um, connected with a plastic, uh, it was not connected here. It was connected on this side with a plastic, uh, you know, the little plastic, uh, ties. So I was pretty sure it had not been used. Um. It did have a little bit of a smell when it came, but more along the lines of what a boutique smells like, you know, when they have like maybe pine scented or potpourri in the, in the boutique. So I think it was somewhere like that. Um, and it's not a smell that bothers me. So I was very happy for that because I had asked if it had any kind of um, smells to it. Um, so I'm just really in love with this style all of a sudden. Um, it just feels perfect for me. It's kind of a square, a 12... 11, 12 by 12, 11 by 11, something like that. So, and I also, the, the other thing that really um, got, uh, got me after I got the first one is that the pleather is very, um, it's not stiff. It's kind of a soft pleather. Um, and I really like the sort of, not matte finish, but it's very soft, buttery sort of feel to it. Um, not usually one for these rounded handles, but because this is more of like a grab handle, um, along with sort of the crossbody strap, um, it works for me. I really, really like the way it feels and the way it looks. Um, I also, um, normally some of these factory styles that have the pleather, the bottoms will have, um, pleather and, um, really thrilled with sort of the full fabric bottom on this. Um, and of course it has piping. Um, which, yeah, so as I was saying, um, I like that it has piping because, you know, the piping is starting to be taken away, um, or has been taken away on the Vera, um, uh, online. Uh, and I'm not sure if the current factory, but anyway, I really, really liked the sort of the, the leaves in here with this green and very aqua. It is very similar in the feel that I get from um, Lavender Meadow and Cloud Vine. And um, so it was very attractive to me with all of these sort of bright, uh, I don't know what color I would call this, sort of a crimson, but it's a, it's a, it's a really nice orangey pink and with the yellow centers. But I really like the way the green leaves with these turquoise and the line work. So, I've aimed this down a little bit more so it's easier to see. So I just think it's gorgeous. There's one more pattern that I want in um, this style, 
and then I'll be done with it. Um, but I'm just uh, becoming a big fan. Anyway, let's look at what's in my bag. So the bag has, um, as I said, these two grab handles, and then it has the, um, the front pocket, which is just about as wide as these straps. And I've just got a uh, mask in there. And then the back of the bag has um, a full zip across. Um, and inside of here, I've got um, my tissue holder in pirouette pink. And I've also got my little notebook that I carry around. Um, so that's the, and that zipper uh, panel goes um, all the way across. Okay, hopefully the earphones are still working. If not, <laughs> anyway, so here's um, the interior of the bag. It's got this great sort of light rose, peach pink interior, um, which is the factory sort of plain interior. I've got um, quite a bit of uh, greens and pinks going on in here. I really am in this mood for cloud vine all of a sudden. So I think I'm going to be breaking out some of my cloud vine. Um, so I'll just look at what I've got in here real quick. I've got a, um, a glasses case that I'm carrying around my sunglasses um, in here. And this is um, Lilac Time, T-H-Y-M-E. So this is a very old pattern from the early 90s that I had found this uh, glasses sleeve in. Sorry, I just had a, like a disaster. <laughs> My tripod is on a, our chair arm, and I have, uh, I got a new case for my phone, which doesn't um, fit into the tripod holder very well, so it it just will, like, spontaneously, like, burst out of the, the holder. So I took the, the uh, cover off the phone, um, and just the plain phone in there, which fits much better, um, just in case anybody wants to see. Here's my phone case. I got this from Casely, I think. They had two, uh, buy one, get one free a couple of weeks ago. So I thought this was really cute. I really like uh, the flowers. But anyway, it's such a big, thick case that pops out of my tripod too easily, the holder on my tripod. Um, anyway, so let's get back to what I was doing. So I was showing you the um, eye glass case in Lilac Time, which is really pretty. Um, Okay, and then I have a um, cell phone ca uh, case, the Carson um, cell phone crossbody. This is in Lavender Meadow. So you've got those, you know, gorgeous green leaves going on, just like um, this bag with the sort of mint in there. Uh, this is obviously more heavily purple and pink, um, but I love this. And I've got the little ladybug, nice, big, beautiful flowers. One of my favorite patterns. So that's in there. I'm also carrying around, um, I'm matchy this week, I guess. So I've carried around this um, small uh, dome cosmetic. Um, I don't know if it's not a clamshell. Well, I guess maybe it might be. Yes, I guess it is because it goes all the way around. But this has got my, um, got the gussets here. This has got my nice, big, beautiful flower there. And those green leaves, these little dainty, delicate flowers with this nice pink bud on here. Um, I'm also carrying around still the um, Flutterby. I believe this is Flutterby. Um, this is a the small uh, cosmetic from the Cosmetic Trio, and um, yeah, just really like this whole thing with the dandelion flowers. Um, I'm also, I switched out, I uh, couldn't figure out what wallet that I wanted to sort of go with this. Um, so I just switched all my cards into this coin pouch. Um, this is in uh, Citrus Paisley, I believe that's the name. So yes, it's, it's got more of those minty greens going on here and a little bit of by, uh, orangey colors so I thought I would just use this for a wallet instead of um, trying to figure out what wallet I just grabbed that um, I think not, uh, there's not much else in here just my keys and um, some lotion um, it's got the two 
uh, front front uh, slip pockets and the one big zip on the back, which is a lot of the Vera styles use that. So anyway, I thought I would show you what I um, was in today and um, also notice that I have uh, my Sensational 6 that I just got in the mail. Um, if anybody's looking for 50% off on Sensational 6 or the um, Harry Potter Forbidden Forest, you can go to the, you can call the Sever. Yeah, you can give that um, outlet a call. I'll try to tag them. Um, you could give them a call and see what they still have in stock. Um, I know that there are other um, Vera factory outlets that have also gotten um, these patterns in at 50% off. So it was really, uh, I just decided I would go ahead and get the things that I had originally thought I wanted and um, just splurge a little bit. So have a great uh, weekend. Talk to you soon.